Hey everyone, it's Nerf Boy Productions here. Finally, welcome to my video on the Nerf and Strike Elite Hyperfire. This blaster was released in a flash wave on Walmart.com. A bunch of people got their hands on it, but I totally missed it. Walmart.com has been slowly releasing little skids of shipments, and um, a few days ago, the website put these blasters back up for sale, and I was able to grab one. Now, they were only available on Walmart.com, and since I'm Canadian, I had to get it shipped to a facility at the border called My US Address. And it's just an address that they give you. You ship all the stuff that only ships to the states there, and then that company will then send it to your door. So that's how I got this, so a huge thanks to them. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the Hyper Fire. So this particular box that I got is gonna be with the international version. It's got um, feet and meters both displayed there. So um, for me in Canada, the blaster shoots up to claims of 27 meters and uh, 90 feet as well. Comes with elite darts, and it says it's the fastest motorized dart blaster Nerf has ever made, which is totally agreeable. Silence my phone. And not only is it the fastest, they're claiming that this blaster shoots five darts a second. That's awesome. If you think about it, my favorite blaster is the Rapid Strike CS18. Uh, I really, really love it. I think it's super comfortable and it's fully auto, which is so, so fun. But it's a little slow. The rate of fire is a little slow. So I love modded rapid strikes that shoot super fast, full auto. And that's about what this is. I'm hoping the comfiness is right up there with the rapid strike because uh, it may replace my love for the rapid strike. We shall see though. So apart from that on the box, we have the picture of the guy and it says it comes with a 25 dart drum, which is really, really great. Same kind of thing we saw on the rampage, which Sadly, it's harder to find in stores nowadays, so uh, this will still get you that drum, which is really good. And then taking a look at the back here, uh, it says fire five darts a second again. Uh, we have a little thing that says hyper fire, overpower opponents with ultimate speed. Tells you it comes with the tw 25 dart drum and says fully motorized. On the back, they have a uh, little also look for, and they have a picture of the strato bow and the dual strike. So the dual strike's been out for some time, but I've yet to get my hands on a strato bow. All of these things will be coming in the future, and from Toy Fair and just taking a look at all the blasters Nerf is coming out with, I'm super excited, and I think this Hyper Fire is going to be a great start to a new year of Nerf. There's also another sticker that I was probably added by Walmart, but it says Unit Label 6331. So, I don't know, if you ordered one from Walmart, see if yours came from the same unit. Maybe it's shipped on the same pallet or something. That'd be kind of cool. So, got my knife here, and we're just going to put down the blaster and open it up. Give you guys a full unboxing here today of the Hyper Fire. And I love, I love, love, love. I know it's not as environmentally friendly. A lot of Nerf blasters nowadays are open face style so you can touch the blaster and stuff. There's just something so fun about not being able to see the toy and then just unboxing it for the first time. Uh, so it takes me back. Let's go. See a little Nerf. Oh yeah, that's awesome guys, that is awesome. First thing I notice, on the box, this 25 dart drum, because of this little uh, shadow, looks like the front of it is actually white. But as you can see on the box, the entire thing is orange. It's just entirely orange, which is crazy. Also on the box, since this is a fairly new blaster, they haven't updated the artwork. So this blaster has um, just really, really plain on the uh, box. But of course, it's got that tiger camo on the actual blaster, which taking a look, looks just as awesome as I thought it would have. That's so cool. Okay, so right away we have our instruction manual. Tells you about your jam clearing door button and door, acceleration button, trigger, drum release, and the drum. You know, everything about that. Batteries that are not included, how to install them. Um, just everything you're gonna need to know. Okay, now we've got our drum here. Nothing is zip tied in or twist tied in. That is awesome. I hate twist ties. So we got our big orange 25 dart drum, our 25 elite darts, and then we just have the blaster. So let's see. Yep, lifts out just like that. Pop off this back piece. 
And let's go ahead and shoulder this thing for the first time. Ho oh, ho ho! Yeah, baby. This is exactly what I thought. Oh, man. So this little piece of plastic right here uh, maybe gets in a, a little bit of the way of your palm, but actually, it's something to rest on, actually. I, I have no complaints with this. We'll see. I don't know, maybe this little plastic piece is a little, a little weird for my big hand, but um, that'll only be able to tell through lots of like war time. If I'm, you know, in a Nerf war for an hour, maybe it'll start to get annoying, but that is super duper comfortable. It's got this cheek pad here, which sadly is not adjustable, but if you know a lot of real steel, real guns, uh, specifically sniper rifles have these cheek pads for aiming and they can adjust the height and stuff. But this is done really, really well. That is awesome. Okay, so let's see what it looks like with this 25 in here. Yeah, so that's just what I thought. I personally would not um, would not run this blaster with a 25 dart drum in it just because I like holding the bottom of the blaster and as soon as you put in a big drum that comes out of the side like this, when you go hold it, it kind of gets in the way of your wrist. But... Uh, Wow, that, that clip mechanism is really, really smooth. That's awesome. Really easy to hit the uh, clip release with your middle finger as well. Now, technically, if this were in, and it's still super comfortable to hold the blaster like this, so you can hold the front of the gun kind of where this bandolier clip is, but on a real gun, you would never, ever hold the front of this, right? You'd never hold the front of a gun. Um, so anyone who's, you know, super practical and precise and calls everything by the way they're supposed to be, they'll see you holding the front of the gun and they'll just think you're stupid. But it is comfortable, both work, and uh, this is by no means bad really. So uh, overall, quite a comfortable blaster. Like I said, I'd probably run an 18 stick in it, but uh, that's just me. All right, so let's zoom in here and go over all the features. Okay, so this Hyperfire is awesome. Like I said, that Tiger camo looks totally cool. Look at it shine right there, that is sick. Um, the orange and blue, I always, always loved. I liked this color of Elite better than the XD. Like, they had this color of Retaliator, and then they did the white with the blue accents, and I always preferred this color line. I think it's really nice. Um, and the blue and orange is, of course, complimentary on the color wheel. So those are my school colors, and that's, that's, you know, I happen to know a bit about Blorange. So at the back you have a stock, it's uh, non-extendable, non-movable, but it's a really, really comfortable shoulder stock. It almost feels like, are they? I don't think they are, but it almost feels like there's some ridges here that are made of rubber. They're really, really nice though. Lots of sling points. Sling point here, here, of course you can sling it through there if you want. One on the front and one up here. You just got tons of sling points. Uh, really easy blaster to use as a primary for that reason. Uh, or even a secondary if you want to sling it down and pull it up when you need it. Got the nice, nice chin rest that I mentioned. Uh, this whole back piece, although it's all, um, you know, useless dead space, it's still really comfortable. Be really easy to uh, cut it off though and get this submachine gun sort of thing, which would also be awesome. So as far as the triggers go, you have your standard rev trigger, your primary trigger, and this is your clip release button. So you're going to hold down this with your probably your second finger or your middle finger, and that's going to rev up the belt. It's, uh, it's a little belt that spins around and uh, pushes the darts. But basically, that's going to rev up the belt, and then when you hold down this, it'll fire. And then this button, like I said, is your clip release, so you can hit that with the back of your finger and pop out the clip. Okay, up on the top we have one tactical rail as well as what looks like one, but it's actually a button that you can pull back and then you can pop open the jam door, just like that. Take a peek inside. Um, it doesn't open up very tall, so it'd be a little tricky to get in there, but definitely fine. Pop it down and I like that it has a locking button as well. There's a little plastic tab sticking off the top that could be used as a built-in iron sight. Uh, the other side of the blaster, which I haven't really shown you, Nerf did their typical thing. No logo, no Hyperfire Elite, and uh, in fact, this side is gray, and that side is blue on that stock. I don't know why they did that. The colors are just completely lacking on this side. Good thing I'm right-handed. You'll ever only see the cool side. But the good thing is that Tiger Cam was all still there, so that's good. So yeah, like I said, Hyperfire Elite. Nerf logo on there I didn't mention. And the barrel, the actual nozzle right there, is not 
and strike compatible, which sucks. I'm pr I'd probably mod that uh, so that it can take barrels and stuff. Even though this isn't technically part of the modulus line, I would love to put on a uh, end strike acceptor so that it can accept all the barrels. And then I'd put on the HAMP um, mega dart launcher thing. I think it would be about that size and look really, really cool on here. Uh, nice little grip underneath, which is ribbed just like the back of the stock. So that's super comfortable to hold. And of course you can do that if you want to. Um, yeah, just a really comfortable blaster. That's about all it is for the features. And I just looked at where the batteries go in. Remember when I said this stock was all empty space that you could totally cut off and turn into an SMG? It's true, you could probably wire a battery pack onto the side here, but technically the batteries go in your stock. And so right now it's a little front heavy. And when you put in the batteries, it'll probably uh, even it out a little more. So we're going to unscrew that. There's two Phillips head screws right there and there. We'll undo those and then uh, pop in the batteries and continue. Now the blaster should function perfectly. Let's go ahead and set up the camera and do some firing tests. So here is the Hyperfire, definitely ha heavier with those 4D batteries in the back. It's actually, if I just completely let it loose, about there. It's going to about a 45 degree, actually it's going to about the angle you want to fire a Nerf gun at for optimum distance, which is pretty crazy. Um, I don't know if that's design or just kind of annoying, but Definitely not a problem when you're shouldering it. So let's go ahead and just fire down the range here. We're gonna go, just hold down the trigger and do full auto through this whole drum. Wow, okay. So. That was 25 darts. Very fast, five darts a second for sure. But the distance, 90 feet the box claimed. I'm sorry, but maybe the belt needs to get worn in. See, there's a little rubber black belt and that's what revs up and spins. That thing is just spinning like a conveyor, spinning all the darts into the flywheels where they're getting flown out. Maybe that wheel needs to uh, warm up and just be more attracted to the darts. The firing rate was fine, I don't know. It's just, it's not going 90 feet and it's getting about the same ranges as a rapid strike out of the box. Maybe less, but uh, definitely a faster rate of fire. For indoor wars, you know, if you're doing it around the house, it's not super crazy overpowered. It's small and light and easy to run around places, but that distance is not there. Let me try it again. Okay, so I'm not sure if there's an exact 25 in here, but I just put in all the ones I could see pretty close. Now with that last test, it's not very realistic. In a real war, you're not gonna go through an entire 25 darts just like that because you want to, because that's just a pain in the butt to reload. Let's do this in burst mode, see if we get a little bit better ranges when it's not a constant output of the uh, battery. I'm hoping it'll be better and a little more realistic too. So we'll try and do about bursts of three. Okay, so immediately that is much better. They're hitting the window completely straight and they have a lot more to go here. Okay, something to note about fully automatic blasters. They can almost shoot as fast as semi-automatic, especially this one. I'm going to rev up the trigger and just tap the trigger like it was a semi-automatic, like a strife. See how uh, it performs. So not shooting as fast as a strife would semi-automatic, but that fully five darts a second, it's really easy to do a three dart burst, basically like an SMG. You know, I think three, three dart burst is about the way to go. It's really, really good. It's still really easy to do single shots like I showed. Actually, I really, really like this hyper fire. I think it's even easier to do single shots on this than with the rapid strike. It's slightly small. I don't know if it's actually smaller than the rapid strike. It just looks a little smaller, but when the rapid strikes collapsed, Maybe a little bit bigger, but they're fairly comparable blasters. This one goes a little further and a little faster. I gotta say, the Hyperfire is great. It probably needs a little bit of modding work. 
Just gonna put that out there if you want to perform in an outdoor war or something like that. But for indoors and just general nerf use, the blaster's priced fairly reasonably and um, I think it's really great. This is definitely a great start to nerf's lineup and to see what's coming the rest of 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know what you guys think about the Hyperfire. Again, I'm sorry if you've seen others' videos on it. It took me a while to get this thing in um, just because of my location where I happen to be living. Hopefully you understand, but uh, I've got it now. And I also took a look at the Tri-Strike last week. If you didn't see that, one of the first people with a Tri-Strike. So go ahead, a link will be in the description to that video if you want to check that out because the Tri-Strike is very, very cool. And so is this thing. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And if you're new to the channel, I have videos every single Saturday. So feel free to subscribe and keep up to date. That's it for now. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.